Hello, I'm Jeffrey Peterson, AFA MEC President with Alaska Airlines. Today is Thursday, March the 29th, 2012. We just finished four days of negotiations at the Double Tree Suites South Center. Our regular staff negotiator, Paula Mastrangelo, is out uh, taking care of American Eagle. Their bankruptcy talks in Dallas, so uh, staff negotiator Kimberly Chaput kindly filled in for Paula this week. We thank Kimberly very much. And we also wish Paula uh, much luck with the American Eagle talks. We hope that you're doing well. We TA'd one section this week, which is Section 7 probation period. In that section, we agreed that after base orientation, you'll be assigned four sequences. That's before you sit reserve. Once you are on reserve during your probation, you'll be required to sit a certain number of days on reserve. If you hold a line, then that number will be reduced by a certain number of days each month. The company has also agreed that every day that you are on reserve, or if you're self-assigned a sequence while on reserve, that, that counts towards your requirement. So any self-assigned sequences on reserve will count, and we think that that does bode well for uh, the reserve talks in Section 11, as we have both agreed to self-assignment in concept. Section 9, Junior Available. We have agreed to the elimination of Voluntary Junior Available as well as uh, that being replaced by premium open time. So that means that when there's a requirement for coverage, the company will place trips in open time with a minimum of 1.5 premium on those trips, which could be increased, but at least a minimum of 1.5 TF or 1.5 times for each trip. Section 15, leaves of absence. We have agreed that planets should remain current while on an LOA if possible and that can be reduced, not reduced, but waived if you are not medically able to stay current or if you are on an extended travel such as on military leave, missionary work, or travel abroad. Section 18, reduction in force. We agreed that we should go through other options before uh, furloughing such as lowering the line average. And again, that will not happen until the association and the company agree to, to go to that extent such as lower the line average, it's not automatic. Both parties have to agree to those uh, mitigation options before furloughing. Section 22, expenses. We agreed that the hotel language should be put in its own section, so we thank everyone so much for their, uh, for keeping up the pressure with management. They have agreed to open a new section, hotels. Within the expenses section, we've agreed to an increase in per diem. And we have discussed the option of eliminating crew snacks with the idea that you can purchase perishable and non-perishable items at 50% of the retail value of those items. Section 25, safety, health, and security. We are looking at still at several improvements such as a second chance option if you fail your drug or alcohol test, that you can go through a treatment program or at least follow the directions of the substance abuse professional and you will be returned to service as a once in a career option where you can have a second chance. Section 28, which is domiciles, the two biggest parts that are outstanding in that section is the commuter policy as well as the co-terminal play, and we expect those talks to continue next time. Also during this week, we discussed long-term disability as part of the settlement negotiations on uh, Wednesday. We think we're very close to to entering into a settlement regarding long-term disability. The language is currently out for review by both attorneys, and as soon as we have the development to report, we will get that back to you very shortly. Next negotiation session is scheduled for April the 24th through 26th, in just about a month, and that uh, will probably be here once again at the Doubletree Suite South Center. If you, any more, if you need any more information, you'll find that on the Alaska Airlines Negotiations Facebook page, or you can find us on the web at alaskamec.org.